What do you get from officials during games? Um, I just I think it was only one time where I said something to him. Um, I forget. I don't think he understood me. Um, but I don't know. It was just one that was kind of obvious. He was looking downfield instead of where he should have been looking. So He didn't understand you? Yeah, I said he tackled me, and I think he said something like, he could do that. <laughs> like, right, he must have not heard me. <laughs> what do you do with the frustration from that? Do you just move on from it, or do you use it to motivate you? Like, how do you kind of work past that when that's happening? Just keep going. Do you think that an experience thing, like the longer you're in the league, the more calls you might be able to get? Um, I don't know. I think the refs haven't been too bad this year so far. Um, but I think the Rams just get away with a lot of them. There was one play where, <clears throat> I forgot whose sack it was, that you were low and you had a chance to grab the quarterback around the, the legs and probably would have been a foul, but you kind of backed off. Do you find yourself doing that a lot now? Yeah, whenever you fall pretty close to the to his knees, um, it's, it's good to show an effort that you're not um, trying to grab at him. <laughs> um, so yeah, I knew I didn't have the sack, so I just tried to pull off. I think you had a celebration plan the last time you played the Browns and Baker Mayfield. Do you have something similar in mind? No, I don't think so. You, uh, you been been Go ahead. Have you been in touch with ba Baker Mayfield since 2019? No, I don't think we've ever been in touch. <laughs> <laughs> You're leading the league in sacks. Uh, is that a goal for you at the end of the year and how it reflects how this week moves? Yeah, I just want to affect the game as much as I can. Um, and pressures and sacks and all that stuff definitely helps. So as long as I can do that a lot, I think that gives our defense a chance to be the best. You mentioned the other night with the ceiling for this defense being the best in the league. And you talk about all three levels. How much do you feel like when the secondary is, is doing what it's doing and covering longer and things like that when, when you're rushing? Uh, I feel that a lot. You could just tell by um, from a quarterback like Stafford, who's usually pretty on time with things. Um, when he's double clutching and stuff, you know that it's a product of good coverage. Nick, what stands out about the Panthers? Uh, just a really solid team, like a lot of teams in the NFL. Um, they're obviously not, don't have the record they want. Um, but we watched some tape today, and they're in every game they're playing. So they have a really stout defense, and they've had some mis big mistakes on offense that have kind of um, been the difference in games. But I'm sure if they uh, figure those out, they could be dangerous. You didn't have uh, either Eric or Javon for a big chunk of, of the game on Monday. How did you think the, the other guys on the inside, Charles and Kerry and those guys play? I think everybody's playing really well. I think Ridge and I mean, I say this every time I talk to you guys, but Kevin and uh, Kerry's going to have to play some interior. Um, but yeah, everybody's really motivated and um, ready for their moment. Okay, Kerry seems really resourceful on, on the interior. He might be a little undersized, but what, what makes him so effective on both the outside and on the inside when you guys need him there? Just really savvy. Uh, he's been in the league a long time, so he knows how to rush and just be near the quarterback and get pressure. Um, do you recognize or care who who the other three pass rushers are with you on the defensive line when you break the huddle? Um, I usually know who it is because we huddle up. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I, I'd, I'd love to have Eric out there. I'd love to have Javon out there. But um, whoever's in there is pretty darn good. Are, are there certain guys that you feel like you work better with as far as games go? Um, I think Samson is a very, very uh, good teammate to have out there. He just executes every call really well, and, and you know when he's going to do something, it's going to be full tilt, um, and he's going to get it done 99% uh, of the time. So having him uh, around is a good thing. Well, tell me, take us through that one sap where you had where you, you came through the middle, you know, basically – pass two defensive linemen, three offensive linemen untouched. How, how did that thing open up so well for you? 
just a good, good game, good call, um, and Eric just paved the way for me. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you.